Hi guys, I want to show you uh, my probing issue. Uh, this is uh, Arduino Dua and G Shield setup with a tiny G2 firmware on it. Uh, I made a small breadboard circuits. Uh, first is a Schmidt trigger and uh, opto couplers. So uh, I completely isolate Dua uh, from uh, the machine. Uh, with the use of octocouplers and you can see also there are two LEDs uh, green and red uh, green is on when the probe uh, circuit is open and when I touch it uh, I will show you when I touch it by hand the red will lit so I touch I disconnect This will work exactly the same way on the machine. You can also see on the oscilloscope there was uh, plus three volts or zero volts depending if I'm touching or not. And let's first try the touch plate. So we'll see how it I will go maybe 10 millimeters per second. All right, you could see the red was uh, on for a, for a short period of time and back on and then let's try just probing uh, this is just an example board not really important let's first try uh, just do the default settings and test probe okay and now let's do some probing And this is the problem. It does not even start to probe. Sometimes even the test probe is not working. You can see it is still 3 volts on the oscilloscope. Uh, the probe is active uh, low, so when the signal goes from 3 volts to 0 volts, high to low, logical 1 to logical 0, it is all the time logical 1 never goes to logical zero but uh, do it thinks it is all the time on zero so this is what I don't understand I try to uh, solve it many times with many different circuits filters etc etc still no luck so uh, yesterday I ordered tiny G uh, version 8 board uh, thanks Frank for the recommendation uh, and I will see how it works with my uh, new board when it arrives. So far I'm still not able to uh, happily use my machine. And I hope that this issue can be somehow solved one day. Thanks for watching.